Good morning and welcome to prayer and devotion on this Friday. Today is Friday, March 22nd. Starting off today, that was Julian Womble and the Mark Miller and the New Haven Collective doing Even Here off of the Imagine the People of God album. So I <clears throat> hope you enjoy that. It's one of my favorites. Today we're going to be looking at Psalm 139 and we're going to be talking about the ways to self-knowledge, the ways to self-knowledge. Um, but I want to welcome you all and um, just let you know I'm glad you're here praying for each one of you as we begin uh, this day, um, giving thanks for God's word in our lives, giving thanks for the opportunity to uh, pray for and with one another. So. It's good to have you here today. As you open your Bibles to Psalm 139, we're going to be looking at verses 13 and 14. So Psalm 139, 13 and 14. Uh, I invite you to open your Bibles as you're doing that. My name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And um, it's good to be able to start the day with all of you. So let's take a look at Psalm 139, beginning in verse 13. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. 
Wonderful are your works that I know very well. Today's devotion comes from Henry Nouwen's Bread for the Journey, um, and it is entitled The Ways to Self-Knowledge. The Ways to Self-Knowledge. Know yourself is good advice, but to know ourselves doesn't mean to analyze ourselves. Sometimes we want to know ourselves as if we were machines that could be taken apart and put back together at will. At certain critical times in our lives, it might be helpful to explore in some detail the events that led to our crises. But we make a mistake when we think that we can ever completely understand ourselves and explain the full meaning of our lives to others. Solitude, silence, and prayer are often the best ways to self-knowledge, not because they offer solutions for the complexity of our lives, but because they bring us in touch with our sacred center where God dwells. That sacred center may not be analyzed. It is the place of adoration, thanksgiving, and praise. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I think all of us long to know ourselves more, to understand we um, we are we live in a world where we think we can get answers and we can get them really quick and often we can um, you know we just google something and or we don't even have to type it we just ask I'm not gonna say her name because she's gonna click on we just ask our our our, uh, our different uh, devices to give us the information that we are seeking and it is there but there are some things that are much harder to understand, so much more complex, um, that we can't begin to understand the mind of God. Um, so I started today off with Psalm 139, uh, uh, acknowledgement that God knows us, God sees us and understands us better than we will ever understand ourselves. And maybe knowing that is enough. Being able to say that I am fearfully and wonderfully made is enough for today. Um, and so I wonder today if we can do a little less, um, I, I wonder if we could wonder less, that makes no sense at all. But anyway, I, 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 what if we tried to spend a little less time trying to figure ourselves out and figure other people out and just spend time in places of adoration, thanksgiving, and praise. What if we could just spend more time not beating ourselves up, not questioning or trying to understand, why did I, why did I do that? Why am I... Uh, why do I keep doing that? What if today we could spend a little more time giving thanks, taking time to, to breathe, to give thanks for the beautiful tree right outside my window with um, oh, pink blossoms. It just makes my heart sing. Uh, or, or the sound of the birds that wake you up in the morning to remind you of a new day, a new start, new possibility. What if we could spend a little less time trying to figure it all out and a little more time in adoration and praise? Today I started with even here, and honestly I'm not quite sure why I chose it, except that there's a deep acknowledgement 
that no matter where we are, even if it's not in places where we feel like we can give praise or thanksgiving, even there, God dwells. Even, no, there's no way that we can, that's what Psalm 139 is, there's nowhere we can go where we run, where, where God is out of touch with us. God is with us in all things, in all places. The love of God can reach us no matter what. So, fearfully and wonderfully made friends today. Let's spend a little more time being still, being grateful, being uh, in 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 a in the uh, in adoration for all God has done and all God will continue to do in the world around us and in you. Let's pray. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for the gift of spring, of new life, of resurrection and rebirth all around us. We thank you for your creation, which includes us, Lord, for the gift of life, for breath in our lungs, for the people around us um, who we love, who love us, for food on our table, for the warmth of shelter, for the gift of community. There is so much good in the world, Lord. Help us to see it today. Help us to be um, people of gratitude. We are so blessed. Help us to not only receive the blessing, but to be about the work of blessing others. Thank you, Lord, for all the many gifts that you continue to pour into each one of us. Help us, Lord, today to pause, to remember, and to give thanks. We ask all of this in your name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So grateful for each one of you, grateful for um, this time together, grateful for um, all that you bring uh, to this community. I want you to know how grateful I am for each of you. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Have a very blessed day, and I will see you back here tomorrow.